Coach, you're in the cruiserweight division. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the canvas colored shorts trimmed with black and blue. And the Wayne Heaskill, 14 stone, two pounds. Tonight is his 35th professional appearance in a boxing ring, presenting from Klaipeda, Lithuania, here is Dmitry Rembo Kalinoski. Hashtag VIP and the Boxing Live. Boxing out of the red corner, wearing the black blood shorts, trimmed with silver. At the Wayne he scale, 14 stone, two ounces. His record thus far reads two contests, two wins. One of those wins coming by way of knockout, presenting from the superb city of Liverpool, the undefeated J. Keeper at the bell is Philip Morris, star referee, once more, Phil Edwards from Preston. Four rounds of boxing. Jay Farrell from the wonderful city of Liverpool. Fantastic result last night, beating the Chelsea. Um, there's a nickname that the Chelsea fans have. It's the people that rent the house, and uh, if you was to pay a male, young male, it's a bit of a nickname, obviously we won't go there. I don't want to offend the, uh, about 300 Chelsea hooligans waiting for me. I'm not sure if Jay Farrell's a red or a blue, actually. Great start from Farrell, nice and positive. Good body shots. Ben McCoy's tweeted in, he's loving the commentary tonight already. Pat Carr still to come. He's got a nice and compact style, Jane Farrell. You know, um, he's looking really good here on the front foot, pushing the kid back. I can't see this going too far. Those tweets coming in, guys. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Let us know what you're looking forward to watching. What did you make of Adam Mahadi's last performance? Jay Farrell's made a great start here. Heads came dangerously close together then. Nice left up right hook as well there from Farrell. So, uh, Luke, what can you tell us about his opponent? In the, uh, in the away corner, mate. Uh, he's a dangerous guy. Four of his nine wins have been by a stoppage. But he also gets caught. Eight of his 23 defeats have been stoppages. So we could be looking at an early night here. Interestingly, he's fought all over the world, uh, across Europe, on the road. But he's fought nine times in Britain and never won. So he'll be hoping to make this tenth time lucky. Doesn't look that way, though, from the start. It's mad to see. It's mad to see someone that, like that. He looks so young and he's been all around world fighting all over. Great backhand, he's looking for it, he was looking for it. Took it well, Farrell. He's just, just livening him up a little bit in there, he needs to be wary. Yeah, just make sure he's not, he, he doesn't think it's a one-way traffic fight. This kid here has got some power, as you said. He's got four of his nine wins stoppage. Farrell in the black trunks. His opponent in the kind of um, camouflage. But Farrell's going to be in some exciting fights along the way. He sells a few tickets, he's brought a few over from the other side of the East Lanks with him. Loads up, he lets his shots go. I say he does have a reputation as a banger. So, sometimes it's good to get um, your opponent to catch you early as well, because it switches you on, but it gives them a little bit of game to come at you. You know, um, so it starts opening up, James will be able to get some shots on him now, because he'll start feeling confident of letting his hands go, and um, it'll come to an interesting fight then. Nice straight down to the body there from Dimitri. On first name terms, I did meet him when he was meeting the doctor, so uh, we'll not bother with surnames for... Uh... When have you ever gone to surnames? Yeah, I don't tend to deal in surnames, but I don't think the, the people I tend to meet, they don't norm to, normally tend to give me the real name either. <laughs> nice work from Farrell. You're still calling me Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Murray, former Manchester boxer. This fight looks like it can turn out to be a cracking fight. It looks like it's going to start going so, so soon or later. Good first round there. Keep the tweets coming in, keep the questions coming in. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Very lucky to have Joe Murray with us here tonight. Two weeks out from his own fight. 
Yeah, Two man. weeks tonight we'll be under them bright lights in the Buxton Dome. We've been there before. I can't remember how you got on, John. I'm sure you're going to love telling us about it. Yeah, the last time I went out there, it was a great performance. You know, we're not a kid out in two rounds. It was my comeback fight and, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to getting back there. But, you know, I'm looking to, I'm looking to take these titles away from fighters. So, um, I want a title fight as soon as I can get one now and I'm ready to rip them off them. Title fights, that'll be something that Jay Farrell's looking to do down the road. Yeah, the most frightening man in the co in the ring at the minute is Dimitri's trainer. Looks like someone for James Bontham or Jason Bourne. Why are you looking at his corner, man? <laughs> you give me a dirty look when he turned up, mate. I think he's... Uh... Brilliant start again here. He just got to make sure he keeps his hands tight when he throws because this kid looks like he's trying to counter him. Give Farrell the first round. He, yeah, he did take a couple of shots. Took him well. The other kid's moving his head well as well from early doors. He's respecting Jay Farrell's power in there and also Farrell's respecting the other kid's power. Keep yeah, his hand I, a little bit higher. I just think Farrell doesn't want to let this kid get a bit confident because he's going to put him into a hard night's work if he does. He lets this kid get confident he's in for a long night. You know, um, this kid is keeping that left hand down quite a lot. He doesn't have much head movement. His hands are at his tits at the moment, so he wants to start putting that right hand over the top. He's physically stronger on him, Lovely so he wants to start pu pushing him back, stepping on him now and keeping on him, making him work when he wants to work. Good right hand. Here he goes. This is what he wants to do. Keep the pressure on him. Don't let him out that corner. Lovely right hand to the body. Farrell's landing some cracking body Great shots. Right Lovely right hand as well there from Farrell. The kid looks like he's on rocky legs there. He wants to step on him now and not give him more respect and let him get confidence. Good right hook. He's looking good in there now. I thought he'd be a bit wild after the mix-up with the ring. What well, he didn't look happy at all making his way to the ring. But he looks very composed in there now. It's a great performance so far. This isn't, this isn't a bad test for James and his own Lovely first fight. Up. This kid looks like he's got a bit of ambition about him and he's come to win. That double left hand to the body and head there worked well from Farrell. See corner giving him the instructions as well. This is a really good learning fight for him because um, he's not having all his own way here. And you know, um, when you see a person start turning south and orthodox, it means that they're, they're trying to mess the other kid up. He wants to stay in one position and keep him going and keep working him. This kid looks like he's going in confidence a little bit and letting his hands go a little bit more. A little smile there from Kolov, the ski. Seems to be enjoying it now. He needs to push him back on the back foot and don't let him get in confidence here because if he lets him get in confidence, like I keep saying, it's going to be a long night rough for him. I like the way he goes to the body as well. He's thinking about it in there as well to bring his hands down to, to you know, to give himself opportunities to land some of the bigger shots. Right on cue there, the right hand to the body and then went to the head with the left hand. I think Phil Edwards, whenever I see Phil Edwards talking to the boxer, it's always like he's talking to his missus and she's got the shopping wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's how referees have got to be. They've got to make sure that the main man in there, you know, um, they're the ones who are in charge, and if they let things get out of control, it can get silly out of control. Remember to tweet in, hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Joining me on commentary later, we've got Sean Masha Dodd. Josh Warrington's coming over from Leeds. We've also got Ryan Doyle, who was here last time, winning the English title in a great performance. Revenge against Ian Bailey. Joe's joining me now. Any questions, send them in and we'll get them to him. What do you make of the fight so far? I think he's a really good fight, you know, he's his only third pro fight and um, I think he's a good level for him at this side, stage of his career. The kid's got a little bit of ambition and he's putting, um, he's not letting him have it all his own way. I don't think he's losing any of the rounds, but I think the kid's putting a bit of pressure on him and uh, making sure he knows someone's in there with him. Absolutely. He seems okay in the corner. Growing in confidence, as Simon was saying before. Like you can get in fights where the kid doesn't do too much and you, know, you can switch up where he has to stay switched on with his kid because he can bang and um, he keeps letting the odd shot come back. Here we go, round three. This is four three-minute rounds. That cruise away. He's coming out very positive this round, you know, starting straight back to work. Lovely start. 
Kalinowski starting to redden under that eye. Oh, great right hand. See, this kid's grown in confidence. He must make sure his hands are tight. This is good work off Jay Farrell. Good That's counter there. You know, he's just got to keep letting the hands go. He doesn't, doesn't, everything has to be power. Just keep tapping, making sure that kid's keeping his hands tight and then let the big power shots go. Kalinowski's catching a lot on his gloves, but occasionally these big shots are going through and they are taking a little bit out of Kalinowski every time they land. Lovely work off Jay one. Farrell there, putting two or three shots together and then bringing the up around. That's Great nice left up again. He's putting the kid in the shell, now this is what he wants to do, make sure he's a bit feared of him here. Putting him in the shell, he's not, doing, he's not throwing too much shots back now. Yeah, he seems to be slowing down a little bit now, the away fighter. Very impressive from Farrell so far. He, he wants to keep him shot. on the back foot when he seems to be put him on the back foot, he seems to have the best, his best work, Jay. You know, he wants to keep him there and then let his hands go. Now the kids seem like he's covering up a little bit. He looks look like he wants to be there anymore. Yeah, blood coming from his mouth. He's looking in a little bit of trouble here now. I reckon if Jay put a couple of shots together now, I think he'll, he'll uh, swallow it and um, look for a way out. Them legs are on steady legs, are they there? He's backing up there. Here he goes, he puts some shots together here. I think the kid will look for a way out. He just needs to put that little burst in now and start letting them go. Dimitri, just slowing Farrell down a little bit. See Farrell there, lovely left hand. He's got to go again, he should go that again. Right, that right leg's not steady there on Dimitri. See with Farrell, you know, you can really see it in his face, he puts absolutely everything into some of them shots. It's a good thing my dad always said, don't throw a punch unless it's got bad intentions in it. Nice right hand there from Farrell. Looks like both just catching a little bit of a breather. Needs to keep that right hook up a little bit. A bit look, looks a little bit low on Jay. And Dimitri's going body once in here. Last 10 seconds of the third round. Here we go. Farrell putting the pressure on on the ropes in front of us. Good round again for Jay. Kevin Brownlow on Twitter. Unusual to see Adidas gloves on a VIP show. Yeah, it is when you're fighting, do you choose what gloves you wear or do you get given no, them? No, unless you're fighting for a title fight, then you pick your gloves. But if you're not fighting for a title fight, you, you just get the gloves what they got. And obviously, these lads have got to put a um, 10 ounce on, they're not on the 8 ounce. So maybe that was the case, they didn't have no, not, not enough 10 ounces on because there have been some big lads on the show today. So he had the heavyweights on and now they've got this, so maybe they just run out of gloves. The VIP gloves should be back out next up though. The lightweight's lightweight, Jake Bulge is on. Then we've got Chris Monohan at light middleweight. And then Lee Carter at heavyweight. That should be a good fight. He's a great character, Lee Carter. And speaking to him before this fight, he's very, very confident that he can cause some waves in the heavyweight division. I think that's how you have to be, you know. Um, if you're not a confident fighter, you shouldn't be really in this game, you know. You've got to believe in yourself or, you know, um, there's no point being here. Absolutely, here we go, final round. All credit to Kalinowski, he stayed in there, he's taking some big shots tonight, but he's still firing back. I think this is where Jay Farrell will we'll have to watch it, because I think this kid might try and come with some big shots in the end, knowing he can see the ending. Just listening to Farrell's corner there, they're asking him to throw some combinations as well. There we go, straight on it, double jab for the backhand, it's the old favourite. I remember you shouting that on the pads to me, Joe. <laughs> yeah, it's one of them shots where... If you just miss with the first, you'll we'll catch with the next two. You've got to get them feet in with it. Lovely left hook as well there from Farrell. It looks like he's getting stronger, Farrell. You know, uh, like now he's letting his hands go. He's looking a lot more stronger and a lot more popping the shot. Get the tweets coming in, guys. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. What do we make of Jay Farrell? Should have Jay Bulger in the ring next against the Woo Man, Ibra Rias. Then yeah. coming up after that, we've got Chris Monroe and Studinsky. That could be an absolutely cracking fight. Monroe coming in off the back of it. You know, a controversial defeat he fought. I was there that night. 
Well, Daryl Sharp got the victory. Dimitri Sargit in the body, and it's giving it's giving Farrell the opportunity to land a left hook in there as well. Yeah, I think uh, what what people have got to realise here in this fight is uh, Jay Farrell's not the confident out of this kid. He had a bit of game and a bit of pop in the first two rounds, he's and if, shell he's gone into a shell. I think uh, Jay Farrell's really hurt him, and uh, he's showing that now in this round. Kid looks scared to come forward. It's all on um, Jay's pace now. You know, um, he's doing what he wants in there. He should relax now and start enjoying himself. Kalinos, he's still there, though. Close again there. Sorry, Luke. I'm just saying, any fight that's in there is dangerous. He's still got to keep his wits about him. Nice work there from Farrell. He's still looking for the knockout. He's going to be looking for the knockout to the final bell. That's the way. That's the kind of fighter he is. And that's the way he should be, really. You know, all these people who come and watch him, they've all paid the hard earned money to come here. And, um, you know, they've all made the trip down from Liverpool. Um, he wants to put a performance on like you should want to. Good shots there going from the end. Farrell look, is looking very good. Good uppercut there. Great, what a brilliant shot. shot. His legs are gone there. Oh, oh great oh, shot. Come on, oh. Made by the belt. What an ending. What an ending. He's gone there. If that would have been another round, that would have been stopped. If it was another 20 seconds, that would have been stopped. I think even five seconds. He still doesn't know where he is now. He's got on steady legs. I'd like to see him on his stool. Thunderous finish from Farrell. Try saying that when you've had a few bees. Great performance by Jay Farrell. He's showing he had the power there at the end. We can see all the way through. He's showing there when he steps up in, in, the, in the bigger rounds and he go, goes later distances. He's still got the power and he's still, the more he relaxes, better he comes and more he'll start knocking people out. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Let us know what you think of that performance. One of his fans there did just shout some obscene language. If, this, if that did offend anybody, grow up. <laughs> Hailing from Liverpool, now undefeated in three. Professional contest, James Earl. And a fine effort, ladies and gentlemen, from Rembo, Dmitry Kalinowski. Very good win there, very impressive at the end.